name's Justine. And I'm Jenna. And you're listening to Same Brain Podcast. Roll that intro. Wasn't that amazing? Didn't you love that oh little gosh. song? Could you believe it? That was incredible. That Very was professional. Great. Tyler picked that out. This is our fourth podcast. Fourth? I believe so. We did two this week. So we basically doubled our podcast episodes this week. That is extremely impressive. I just feel like there's so much happening all the time. And like, we are here to cover all of it. Yeah, we're yeah, you know, so let's, let's, we're going to some one of a week. It. We're just, you know, whatever. We've got some, <laughs> some of it. fun little things here that you guys requested on Twitter that we talk about. But we need to first talk about what we have in front of us. So this podcast started kind of out of quarantine. I was like, this will be so fun. Let's start a podcast. I want to shoot it just on my iPad. And I've got these cool mics. And then it's, just, I want all of the gear. I, now I'm getting like podcast obsessed. I'm going down these crazy rabbit holes of all of the insane equipment that we could have for our podcast. I mean, we have monitoring headphones. We've got this uh, roadcaster in front of us. There's buttons that we can push. Yeah, but don't push, no push. Uh, what okay, if I push okay, one button? Just push one, but just don't, okay. don't push the one that I don't want you to push because it's so loud in my head. Oh, all right, well then I'll push another one. Oh, welcome to Same Brain. Wow, what's this one do? Uh, that's the... Oh, that's the crickets. That's the crickets. <laughs> um, but it's crazy. I've been researching all of this stuff, and this is sort of just a temporary setup that we're borrowing from a friend. So thank you. It's great, though. It's, it it's a lot great. of fun. So we're still trying to figure things out. But um, yeah, I think so far I've heard very good feedback on the fact that we're just getting better in our podcast. Oh, I mean, have so. you seen those iTunes? I, it's not iTunes anymore. Apple <gasps> Podcast. Oh, my gosh. Where I just I oh. just went back to the future, to like five to, or to the ten. past. Back to the, the past, yes. Back to the, the future. <laughs> anyway, okay, so so today oh, in Same shoot. Brain, we've got some topics no, we want to talk about. about our you reviews. still want to talk about the reviews. They were so good. Should we start off each episode by reading some of them? Yes, they were actually incredible. I mean, there was one review. They gave us five stars. They said they've never really listened to podcasts before. So obviously they know this is the best. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to find the reviews. I mean, How you do guys, I find it? I, you go and you look at them. <laughs> I was I was reading them earlier, but now now I'm having- Jenna was sending me some screenshots. I was like, wow. Okay, People well, are really maybe we'll enjoying be more it. prepared for next time. Will we though? Here we go. Let's not set our expectations too high. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, oh my gosh, we have five how many, stars. How many reviews do we have? 186 reviews. Wait, really? Yes. That's a, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good at podcasting. You keep me entertained and your positive attitude is amazing. Keep up the good work. Hashtag same brain. Oh my goodness. Another one. Wow. I forgot to read the last title. This is awesome. <laughs> this title is wow. Oh my God, this is amazing. I listened to one episode and I was immediately intrigued. This is awesome, guys. Keep it up. I will be back every Saturday to listen to this. You know what? <laughs> oh no, I hit the wrong one. Whoa. What? Oh no. There's, there's a clapping. No, these are, yay. <laughs> Okay. Um, every Saturday. That like we have to do this every Saturday now. <laughs> we do. Oh, oh remember boy. when I couldn't find the clapping button? Okay. Anyway, so we will be reading some reviews because it's it's fun. Thank you guys for all the positivity. I but, can't believe we have that many reviews. First of all, I didn't even think anybody was listening. And if you have any negative feedback, you can tweet it to us. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> let us know because we actually do need the feedback because this is honestly something that we just started just to have fun and and have fun. I like having fun. I also like having fun. You know what, Justine? You know what's fun? What? Rumors about new tech what do you and consoles. What do you, oh, oh, are you oh, looking at the document that I'm, I had prepared? I'm looking at the document, Justine, and it looks like there may have been a little bit of a leaked, uh, some rumors, yeah, Xbox about related. Xbox, it's the, the code name is Lockhart, which yeah. is kind of interesting. So obviously you guys know about the Xbox Series X that should be out this holiday. Should be. I mean, it, it will be out. It, well, we, you, who knows? You never know. I mean, I mean I, you really don't know. You really don't at it's this point. It's expected. It has been announced holiday 2020, which is just around the corner. But yeah, there's- Is it just some, around the river bend? No, it's around just the corner. Around. It's around the corner. Okay. Um. So, but there's been uh, leaked information about a cheaper and less power next gen Xbox console. Which I think is interesting. So this would be something that I would imagine would come out after- the original console that would come out at the end of the year. And I think it makes sense because they're saying here that a lot of people don't have 8K televisions. They don't have the TV to really you know, use all of uh, mm -hmm. what the, the newest Xbox will have. So this gives you an option to have a 
a lower end model that still will be able to play the games. I mean, honestly, it's crazy because you really don't have to have the best of everything, you know? Even though I feel like as a tech reviewer, we're always reviewing the latest and greatest tech when really you don't necessarily need it. I mean, I was posting 8K videos when I was doing the Samsung review and watching it back in Safari. I know. And I'm like, wait a minute. You can't even watch like 4K. So it's a lot of this content is future proofing. And I mean, obviously this isn't something that I think everyone will get day one. So having this as a potential option later on is pretty exciting. So it says the Xbox Series One is expected to be an absolute beast of a console capable of playing video games 4K, 60 frames a second. Expected to have a one terabyte solid state drive and like a ton of different specs here, which I feel like a lot of people have already covered this stuff. But me and Jenna are both huge Xbox fans. Oh yeah, um, I mean, I've been playing so many video games in quarantine. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. This whole quarantine thing has been interesting and I've been just talking to even a lot of my friends and the expectation of WWDC, I think for all of us, like it, they surpassed all of the expectations that we had set. Yeah, you yeah, think so? yeah. Well, I'm for me. I mean, I, it was a really, really good. I think they did a really, really good job. So I feel like I, I like to have low expectations mm. both in life and just in general. So you know, it's a lot harder to be. Since you guys could, a lot harder to be disappointed and let down. If you're listening to this, I just took a sip of. She the took tea. a sip. Make sure you keep your mouth because, close to the okay. microphone when you look at me. Cl just a small tilt. But small keep tilt. your mouth close to the microphone. We're still learning, but We're Justine learning. is all like. I'm fish out of water like, like uh, wow. <laughs> well, because I want to get away if it start yelling or something like this. So I'm not yelling in yes, your ears. You can do that. That's okay. But how um, does this sound if I'm yelling like this? I'm yelling. Can you hear me still? Oh, it's confusing because I hear you in my headset, but also next to me. Just keep your mouth close to the microphone. I'm getting yelled at. No, no, no. You're getting okay. educated. Go back to expectations for WWDC. Because this is something, you know, having been to WWDC, you've also been been to Apple events. What I love so much about it is the fact that it did feel like they really made an inclusive event. So I think this is like setting the bar for the rest of sort of how tech events and how products will be released, which is something that Apple is usually you know known for. Like we want to do a presentation like Apple, like make me look like Steve Jobs or something like that. And that's, that's difficult to do. Really. I mean, personally, like I love all the digital stuff and I feel like I saw a lot of creators too. They're like, this was great. I watched it and then I immediately could film about it. Mm -hmm. Like you weren't traveling and you weren't like, where am I going to film this? How am I going to film this? It's obviously nice to get hands on, but it's like also not traveling. You save a lot of money, a I lot do. of time. Um, yeah. You don't really get to, you know, meet as many people and see all your friends, but I feel like it all has the pros and cons. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what the future is like. Yeah, I think there'll be like smaller, more exclusive events, which I think are fine, but like traveling just around the world to just like, you know, see a new phone or something, it's exhausting. And it's expensive. Extremely it's, expensive. You know, Not only for us, and a lot of times these brands and companies are also covering that, like that can be used for something else. For sure, yeah. You know? it's, it's definitely interesting how, I feel like everyone has also, I mean, it's kind of like that adapt or die mentality, but mm -hmm. I feel like all these companies and a lot of people have, quickly adapted and like pretty well. I mean, not not everyone, but. It's also interesting because as a YouTuber and a content creator for a very long time, you that's basically the mentality that we've always had to have. It's like, you have to adapt to the algorithm, you mm -hmm. have to change, like people aren't into this. And I think we've seen that very much over the past couple of years, more specifically where you know, your content has to grow up. You have to change and adapt as the platforms change and just be willing to kind of go with it. And I think that takes a certain type of person really because a lot of people are very structured. I hate change. You, <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> I don't like change. Really? No. Re Do Wait. not like it at all. Do not like change. Why am change. I just finding out about this now? Did we need to do a podcast that Jenna doesn't like change? I do not like change at all. It's just I'm like, ugh. I guess you get stuck in your way. It's comfortable. It's familiar. And I'm like, oh my God, change. Really? Like, what's I don't the, like it. What, what is something that has changed like, that you didn't like? Like moving is also like, what if I don't mm. like it? What if I move and I don't, I mean, like, just change your location. I just, I don't know. I don't like change. Okay. I, I don't like it, but I also love it. Like when I start getting a little too comfortable, I'm like, I need to do something and I completely destroy whatever it is that I'm doing and I go do something else. That is true. That is <laughs> very true. I can like, definitely vouch for that. I think it was, if you remember when I moved a long time ago, it was whenever, um, we were shooting a video and I like caught my kitchen on fire yeah. and we had to use a uh, fire extinguisher. Has anybody out there ever had to use a fire extinguisher and what the mess it creates? Well, I used it on you. So yes, it's very, very messy. We had to leave. We left. Yeah. We, we, we well, you were on. looking to go anyway. But. Yeah, but it was like a perfect time. I'm like, great, destroy this. Let's move on. But I mean, we cleaned it. We did. Well, did we you did. get your deposit back? 
I mean, I probably didn't even ask for it back because I didn't deserve it. You didn't trash the place though. No, I didn't. Do you remember, mm, do we, should we talk? Uh, <laughs> do you remember? The one night at a, the, yeah, the place. We're not gonna talk, wait. The location, yes. Yeah. Of the place that. <laughs> I can't talk about it, I can't talk about it. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> She's not ready. Maybe this will be an episode uh, 100. Oh we're going to move on. Episode 100 will tell you about the we're time. Gonna, we're going to move on. The okay. Time. All right. Anyway. Whoa. Uh, okay. So adapt or die. Great. Adapt or die. So. Animal Crossing. There is a summer update and holy. Holy moly. moly. I'm incredibly excited. But here's the thing. Mm. I'm on the Southern Hemisphere and this is like a summer update. You can start over. I will not. I'm okay. Not like, I think I've hit 600 hours at this point. I'm not. Wow. Uh, we're not doing that. So in the new update you'll be able to swim and dive and find new So this creatures. is coming actually in uh, July. July 3rd. Mm-hmm. It's right after July 2nd, which I have a car appointment. Oh my gosh. It's I'm- my only plans of 2020 as of now. <laughs> I have no plans except my car appointment and Animal Crossing. I have a haircut <gasps> finally on the 29th. You didn't trust me to give you another trim. No, you I know, did that a bad was job. disgusting. Yeah, so you can swimming, you can swim. diving, and wetsuits. For the first time ever in Animal Crossing, you'll be able to swim in the ocean surrounding your island using a wetsuit. The sea is yours to explore by diving. You can discover new, I can't read. <laughs> I was just gonna hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see our buttons. We've got, there's little. You can kind of see it if you're watching the YouTube video. Oh yeah, we have a I YouTube channel. We both have YouTube channels. You do? Do you have one? Uh-huh. Cool, you guys should. Check that out. It's all new content. It's my name, Jenny Zarek. Okay, so you just a scallop. Like the fish and bugs, these new sea creatures can be donated to the museum. Great. Because oh, let me tell you what. Peter's about to get on that. I have been going to that freaking museum every day with all my fossils and plathers. It's like, it's like, I don't want this. I'm like, could you please tell me what you want then? Because- what why am I wasting my time? And why do these fossils keep appearing? Why do they keep appearing if I already have them? I don't know. I don't know. That's why we had fossil swap, but I've just given up. I'm like, just gonna sell it, be done with it and move on. So, but I, I will say I've been getting very bored of Animal Crossing. Well, yeah, because how, how many hours have you played? Uh, like 400. Okay, exactly. That's a long freaking time. I did so, a, a, a villager hunt the other day and then I just recently, it was like, I haven't played in five days. I should probably check on my villager. My new, I got Marshall. Marshall came to my island. I have played, let's see, let's I see, let's my see. Here. I have I'm just curious, 595 hours or more. Or more. Or so more. we're gonna round up to 600 hours. Yeah, but with the new update, you'll be able to buy the wetsuit. It'll be sold at Nook's Cranny after the update. Of course you have to buy it. Well, yeah, of course. And then there's Pascal. Pascal, 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 out in the middle of the ocean. He's a little otter. Oh, wow. An otter. An otter. But look at all the new mermaid DIY recipes. Um, I'm obsessed with the mermaid furniture, the under, like the seashells, like that actually is really, really cool. So I'm very excited about that. Did you see that there's an alternate version of Gulliver? Yes, I did. Gulliver, look at him. So what's gonna happen? I mean, I feel like there has to be some type of thing for people who are in the Southern Hemisphere. Are you? I think they'll just let us have the update as well. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, it's winter though. You're gonna, it's gonna be cold. Gulliver. Polar, polar plunge. I just, I don't like the storyline of Gulliver. Like how many times are you gonna lose your stupid pieces and how many times are they gonna come pick you up? And how many times do I have to fix your freaking communicator device? He's a drunk, washed up bird. He's drunk on the beach. This says, um, we're guessing that it could be some pirate furniture that, <gasps> because Pascal used to give out in past Animal Crossing games. Oh, a free snorkel after updating? It's a small thing, but according to a Japanese Nintendo website, a free wearable snorkel item will be distributed as a thank you gift for updating. I like it. I like <gasps> Look it a lot. It. That's cute. Oh, How are you gonna goodness. jump? Did you see that one video that I sent that Ed yeah. also sent me? <laughs> but like, do you hit like A? Like, do you run and like hit A? I don't know, man. Well, I guess we'll find out next week. We will. We will, we, we will have a follow-up podcast. Oh, you better believe about. it. There's a summer update number two coming. My birthday. Oh my gosh, what is this? I didn't even read. Fireworks. There are fireworks. August fireworks festival. Do, don't you think that would have been for the July update for 4th of well, July? Yeah, but I think this is a worldwide thing. So I don't think maybe they didn't That is true. Wanna, that is true. So this looks like the fireworks festival is in August with wave two. Oh. That is uh, very, very exciting. Yeah, so this is, oh my goodness. I am so hyped. This can't be any worse than the um, egg 
when oh, they introduced bunny the eggs, day. the bunny day, all the furniture. They introduced that way too early and it was just overwhelming. It was too much. It really was. I was like, I'm so sick of these eggs, like Awful. in the water. Did you know that tomorrow or today is the, the bug, bug off? Bug off, yeah, but guess what? Guess who doesn't have a bug off? Me, I don't have the bug off until November on the Southern Hemisphere. Well, I have the bug off. I will be streaming it um, because I went, I played today. Wait. And I was so confused when KK Slider was there today. Why? Oh, because he's not the bug off. Because it was, I thought, that I was like, is today Saturday? Did I miss an entire day? Get this. What? I can come to your island and we can compete in the bug off and I can help you because it's it'll accumulate the points. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh my there God. We, we should go. do, do a dual stream? Yes, we will. <gasps> we're going to have a bug off stream. I love this. Okay, we're going to do that. Oh, yay. Hello. Thank you. We're here. Bug off. I need to work on my transition you there. Do. Uh, I don't know what the buttons are. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Um, this is a Nintendo game. It's called a jump rope challenge. Oh. So I haven't played it yet, but I downloaded it. So I don't want to do it now, but you take the joy cons okay. and you Ooh. jump rope. It's a free game. You can download it. And it was made by, I think some Nintendo developers who wanted to get people up and moving during quarantine. I love that. Yeah. So we should download this and do a challenge. We can stream it. We actually could. Let me see jump rope challenge. We oh. could do this together. Jump well, rope challenge. I mean, with everybody, like the audience. That is true. Oh, I hit the mic with my hand. It's okay. I, <gasps> you know. <laughs> oh my Somebody God. take the buttons away from me. You grab those Joy-Con controllers and get jumping. Get jumping. You jump rope virtually and you watch the on-screen counter increase with each successful hop. You're a little bunny. Isn't I this love cute? It. it is actually really, really cute. For those who aren't able to jump or are worried about Disturbing the downstairs neighbors, players can bend their knees or move their arms to play the game without creating any noise. Very nice, very thoughtful. You know what I was playing today on stream? Mario Kart 8. No way, oh my God, remember my birthday party? Yes, well it's cool because you can create a tournament and then um, everyone can come and join. And so I was playing with everyone online and I am terrible, well, terrible. The thing. Some of these people are so good. Well, they're good at everything and I'm so just like, good. Trash. So I thought I'm I was excited good. for the for the jump rope. And fun. then I realized I wasn't. Yeah, I'm really not good at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, she's. I'm drinking yerba mate. Drinking. Sorry, this is my first yerba of the day. Usually, I've had one by now. That's a very bad habit. But I saved it for the podcast so I can have a simple sip. Sip break. That's okay, doing. great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, All right, mm -hmm. so we still talking about jump roping, or should we move on to some other stuff um, like I Pokemon? Think oh, okay. I hit the microphone again. It's fine. Oh my goodness. So this article came up when I was looking for Pokemon Go because I feel like they were supposed to relaunch Pokemon Go, but do you remember how much fun we had? Yes, we, we were walking like 20 miles a day. Like that one day we didn't wear sunscreen and oh. we walked all around Santa Monica, down to the pier, all around everywhere. And remember we went to this one restaurant and we thought that it was a place that like you would potentially maybe go into and never come out of again, but there was a pokey stop there. <gasps> so yes. we ended up going into this restaurant I and it do. ended up being like the most incredible thing ever. Yeah, I do remember that. I also remember we would wake up at 6 a.m. to go to the Santa Monica Pier. Yeah, because nobody would be there. And here's another thing is- No, there would be a lot of people there. there were, no, uh, well, at 6 a.m. That's why people, we went early. It was people collecting Pokemon. Yes, but it was also kind of scary. Well, I guess depending upon how you look at it, because everybody was collecting Pokemon, but then everybody also- a lot of people knew who we were too. Oh yeah, there was so that. then we would we would end up going out, and there'd be like swarms of people that were like, "Oh my god, just you know, what do you guys do?" I mean, like, what do you think we're doing? A bunch of kids playing Pokemon. We're like, "These are our people." Like, yeah, this is great. So it was really fun. And then, um, yeah, oh my god, we walked miles. We would walk at least ten miles a day. And then the one time there was like coyotes, and like the security is like, "You gotta be careful. There's coyotes here." I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna go back inside." But, but this, yeah, that was a, that was a really good time. This article, it's Pokemon Go Grandpa plays with sixty four phones on his bike. Like, look at this picture, Jenna. I'm looking at it. I First off, how do you have that many phones? Okay, you, so, I mean, you might not even have 64 phones. This right here, this first picture that we're looking at, it's only 11 phones, okay? Oh. And when we scroll down, <gasps> look at this. This how is- How do you- this is the most, like, I am jealous because He's, this is this is how we need to do phone reviews. It basically looks like a peacock of phones. Like does. a peacock's tail, like in your, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. How this does he is even- so amazing. His new rig for 64 phones attached to be a beard that looks like a bicycle. It says there's slots for eight more phones, bringing the total to 72. Wow. Uh, that is dedication. He apparently rarely battles with other creators because he does not want to overwhelm players with his competitive advantage. Oh my, well, that's kind of him. That's, oh, that is, 
What, what is the benefit of having that many phones? Well, I mean, I think he's playing with like so many different accounts. And then this is one of the comments on Facebook. They were concerned. They're like, how does he reach the phones at the top row? What happens if he hits his brakes too fast? Oh, they actually are calling it the peacock. Oh, the peacock. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How? That's insane. I love funny. it. I, how, what if he gets robbed? Well, I don't know. I mean, I feel oh, like. I'm worried now about him. I think he's okay. He's been doing this since uh, the game came out. It says he went viral in 2018. Okay. Where is this? Uh, where is this? This is in Taiwan, I believe. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. if it was in the United States, he'd probably get robbed. He's probably okay in Taiwan. This is so, I mean, it's amazing. Got a lot of crime over here. But we, that's really cool. Good for him. I love that. I forget what else I was going to talk about. Because why did I even start searching for Pokemon Go? I don't remember. Well, they just announced something new about Pokemon. But I'm not actually sure what it is, so I'm not going to talk about it because I don't. I don't know. Well, let me just do a, a quick search here. Okay, yeah. Do Pokemon a, do a Go. Quick little, just news. Pokemon. We're just Pokemon. Just Pokemon. Jenna just wants me to search for Pokemon. There's new Pokemon news. I never really got into Pokemon until Pokemon Go, which is not really the, a good introduction. To That's it. why I don't think we should talk about Pokemon because we we only played Pokemon Go and we don't really know much about it. Speaking of things that we shouldn't talk about that we don't know anything about oh, no. until today, I can't believe this is the day that I first listened to BTS. Well, so I've listened to them before. But I have not. Why, why did nobody tell me that they're incredible? I mean, millions and millions and hundreds of millions of people have been telling people that they're incredible. But I don't know. Like, so here's, this is, I think my problem is like, I get super into stuff. So I try to like avoid things that I know I'm going to be like super into like World of Warcraft because I know that oh. would probably ruin my life. Probably. Uh, but like, for some reason, I just never, I was like, BTS, BTS. <gasps> so good. And the reason that, I decided to finally go and uh, listen to BTS is because Samsung did a collaboration with BTS for one of their new phones, the S20 Plus. It looks very, very good. Like this is it, the phone that I wanted. It's like a purplish pinkish color. It's so great. And there's little hearts on it. They like, also do oh. the buds as well, I believe. They, yeah. Yes, the galaxy buds. Oh my gosh. But can we talk about how good BTS is? Yes, just that's why the ever like Millions of people like them. I think it's even more than millions. What hundreds of millions? Every millions, I, I billions. Am so upset that it's taken me this long. I'm I'm sorry, but hey, you know what? It's never it's, too late. Better late than never. So here's what I need from BTS fans: is I need to know like what I need to know. Like what, what do, do I need, need to know? know? I need like a crash course. Like what are the best songs? Like who are your favorite members? Like I I need to do research. I mean, now that they're like political activists too, like all the stuff that's happening in like the political world that they're, you know, maybe, maybe Our dad said we're not for. allowed to talk about no, politics. No, no, we're not talking about politics. <laughs> he said we're not allowed, but I'm just saying like, it's very interesting how, you know, they're reacting and handling things what, and getting, getting involved. No, but what is interesting is I think they also are doing a really great job of like burying like terrible things that are being promoted on Twitter as well. Yeah. So they're like supporting it with, you know, like funny, do you say GIFs or GIF? I said Jeff. Okay, me too. I guess it's same brain. 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 No, that's the wrong one. It's so freaking loud. What's the one over here? Spooky. Oh, I love that. We're gonna have to use that for Halloween. Spooky season. What were we talking about? I don't know. Same. Same brain. Same. I don't know. Same brain. Um. Wow. Using their platform for good. I yeah, think. Like, no, I think that's, that's great. And I, you know, not to get political, I'm not going to. But I think voting is something that is extremely important. So I, I I just checked to make sure I was registered to vote. Guess what? You weren't? I am. Oh yeah, me too. Cool. I'm ready. We are so ready. We, we are not going to say anything else, but um, you know what else? How I realized it's very important to vote. I did a Twitch poll the other day and it was, um, do I keep this villager or do I keep going? And it was off by one vote, one vote. Really? I go, see everyone, this is why your vote matters because if you would have been one other one, it would have been tied two. You would have won. It was just a voting Here's is important. Another thing that you should do that is going into that is researching. Oh yeah. So going back to the Twitch poll, which this is very important. Twitch poll. <laughs> my Twitch poll was: Do I use <laughs> do I use a wooden floor for my arcade area, or do I stick to the stone? I picked wooden. I liked your wooden one better. Well, guess what? Once I put the wooden down, all the people that voted for wooden were like, "Wow, I think that I like." The other one better. So if they would have really? researched, how do you? Well, I yeah. know it's stupid. I, it's dumb. I like the wooden actually. The wood looks good. <laughs> the stone was too much. I agree. Well, anyway, look okay. at this phone. Look at this phone. It's perfect. It's so freaking beautiful. Like, look at this little heart right there. It's really, really good. I'm hoping that we can maybe get a little hands on. 
you know, hoping, hopefully we'll see. I mean, it looks amazing. Like, look at the box. You guys can't see yeah, it if like you're they, listening. They're listening to so it has like the Samsung box, if you've seen the previous version, but it has little hearts around it, like on the front. It's beautiful. Yeah. Pre or you can pre-order. When is it released? It is, uh, let me click the pre-order button. Click the pre-order button. And we're still, um, mm -hmm. I would have this information Soon. for you had I done research. Let me add it to my cart and see what happens. Oh, let me just oh gosh, ship it to we my house. Sure, we aren't sure when it's going to be out, but stop. I'm, I'm shipping it to my house right now, Jenna. Samsung BTS. You were typing aggressively on the keyboard. Well, Nothing was happening. It says it's going to be um, I'm oh. July 9th. July 9th, everybody. Soon. That, that is, is very soon. soon. Okay, cool. I need a sip. Good to know. Mm -hmm. All right, well, do you want to move on and talk about uh, Amazon? Oh, Yeah. Tyler added this one to the list. <gasps> Tyler. Tyler. He has Tyler, added. Tyler, say hi. Woo. He has wooed. He has, he has wooed. So Amazon agreed to pay more than $1.2 billion for the company. What is the company? Amazon to buy Zooks and a move toward self-driving cars. I'm super fascinated by the whole self-driving car initiative. Let me like, tell you what. Me too, because... Since quarantine and people haven't been driving and like now they're starting to drive again, there has been so many more ac accidents. Like I don't know if people have like forgotten how to drive or if they're just like, I don't know, but there's been so many accidents. So how will self-driving cars, you know, maybe be safer? Yeah, be safer and prevent a lot of these accidents. Well, and like a lot of things too, like with Tesla, it's self-driving in quotes, but like you have to still be paying attention and a lot of people aren't. They're doing a lot of dumb things. Well, it's easy to get distracted. It's like, oh, you look down on your phone just thinking like, oh, my car, I'll handle it. But like, no, 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 no. Although when I was in uh, Germany for the BMW, like doing like all of their um, like self-driving car, like tests and stuff, it was really, really fascinating. Of course they had like their little course that you went on, but like an actual pedestrian crossed the road in front of like our course. Oh my god! And like the car recognized them and like stopped. And the guy was like, oh, that wasn't part of the, you know, it wasn't part of the thing, but good to know this technology is uh, is working. And so Jen and I are both from around the Pittsburgh area. And what's interesting, I keep saying things are interesting because I'm, I'm interesting. I get super interested in things. But anyway, that seems to be my catchphrase as of lately to give me some time to think about what I'm going to say next. You always got to think about what you're going to say next. Carnegie Mellon is based in Pittsburgh and it's an extremely incredible school for, uh, you know, a lot of really great tech comes out of that. Most notably, they do a lot with self-driving cars. And back when I first graduated from college or right before, I did an internship with CMU doing a bunch of like web design stuff. And we did this small little project on one of their first autonomous cars. It was like this, uh, I forget what the name of it was, but it was one of the first ones that they had come out with. So it was like so revolutionary at the time. This was like 2000. Okay, that's a long time ago. 2000, I know a long time it's like ago. like 16 years ago. So I just Googled to see what CME was up to. And this is the Carnegie Mellon self-driving car by NavLab. It's a series of autonomous and semi-autonomous vehicles developed uh, by the Robotics Institute and the School of Carnegie Mellon. Look, look at this. I was just going to read it. It drove itself almost all the way from Pittsburgh to San Diego. That's insane. That is so crazy. When was that? I'm readjusting my headset. Okay. Um, I don't know. That said it was updated like five days ago. Here it is. It's so DARPA. That was the, um, the first little, uh, I think, the section of where they were doing a lot of that stuff. But this wow. is so cool. Man, I don't know. Like, I don't, I've... I've never had a Tesla. Like, I, I, I haven't mean, either. Everyone keeps asking why I haven't bought one, and I don't really have an answer. Because you would think that you would me being you so would think. ridiculously tech obsessed that I would I would have one. Well, it's just crazy too. It's like if you get a Tesla, something else is going to come out. Like back to like the BMW stuff, like doing all that, like experiencing what I was experiencing. It was so cool because they could register the stoplights. So it was able to say like, okay, this is a red light. And like, if it would turn green, it would be able to sense using like the LIDAR and radar, it would sense if like, make sure that it was good to go. So it gets a notification that it turned green and it would basically start driving for you on the route. Well, and that's the best part about it is I was also reading some stuff about people talking about how they originally got their first Tesla and how much better it is now because you're getting these over the air updates. It's like you wake up in the morning. Yeah. You can now do a million other things that you couldn't do yesterday. I mean, they can literally make your car faster just by doing an update. I know. It's like, it's it's crazy to think about. Like, no, I don't have to go to the, you know, the shop. I don't have to take my car and I just do an update and it changes it. I do feel like a lot of people have a lot of 
issues with their Tesla that they don't like to really talk about. Which it seems to be like they're always in the shop or they're always getting this fixed. But I think what Tesla has done, you know, they really have pushed the entire initiative forward. So it is exciting. Well, I mean, you're going to get the Cybertruck. I did pre order the Cybertruck. So what did they? So I that's pretty s- soon. Well, yeah, I think that is it, it 2021 mm-hmm. or 2022? I think it was next year. Let's well, it's 2021. See. Let's see if there's any Cybertruck news. Should I get the Roadster? I don't know. Probably not. I kind of want a Rivian, to be honest <gasps> oh, with you. I love the like, Rivian. The Rivian looks incredible. It's so, like the truck, like it's just got that like truck look and feel, but it's all electric. It's, I love the Rivian. I think I was the one who kind of, I was you like, did. Hey, Justine, look at this Rivian. What's up? You got any influence over there? Uh, What's up, Justine? I just want a Ford Raptor. Still. Well, this is like an electric version of it, I feel it's, like. That's exactly. I just, I want a truck so bad. I think Ford made a new announcement yesterday. Really? About their uh, F-150s. Oh, well, let me now, do a I quick I, search. I think. Um, yeah. I just went to Ford.com. Okay. Yes, Justine. And okay, now you typed in food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you typed in food.com. Well, let me tell you what I'm thinking about. Yeah, wait. Oh, Ooh. hybrid power, amazing sleeper seats, and a generator? Ford 2021. Ford F-150, yeah, hybrid power, amazing sleeper seats. Oh I've always gosh. been a really big fan of Ford. They were also one of the first uh, like vehicle companies that really started working with influencers. I well. went to uh, Detroit. Remember that? I and do did, remember. I went it was to cold. like the Ford. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Did you guys know that Detroit in like January is really, really cold? Um, yeah, and I went and like I toured the Ford factory and got to see like how they made all like the trucks and the vehicles. And it was actually very, very fascinating. Mm, mm, mm. Justine is drinking, but also drinking excited. New unique features include first hands-free driving system, 12-inch screens, and over-the-air updates as well. It's promising its hybrid model will deliver both great performance and fuel efficiency. I'm super into it. I like it. God, it looks cool. really good. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I still just, I like the look of the Raptor. It's just, I freaking love it. Like it's, we took that thing. Oops, sorry. Whoa. I set my drink down. Uh, in Thanksgiving. Down. Was it Thanksgiving last year? Um, Yeah, it was. We took this thing off-roading and it was the most fun that I feel like I've had in, in, since. I don't think I've had as much fun ever. It was in Johnson Valley where it's basically where you can, it's just all this open path and like dirt and like people take like their dirt bikes and they do jumps there. I think they shoot a lot of car commercials. And I, track, think, I think they actually I'm shot. I'm pretty sure they may have actually yeah. shot the Raptor or like a Ford commercials there. Um, yeah, it was, it's just so nice. Cause it's like out in the open. And that is when we saw that insane moon coming over the hill. Do you remember that? So picture this, uh, yeah. it's the middle of the night. It's like, it's like 8 PM. Really? Yeah. We were doing oh, yeah, Astro right. super. It was like, you're right. PM. Okay. It wasn't that late. It was like picture this. PM. It's really dark. <laughs> the sun had gone down in the middle of the desert and we see this just glowing ball over the mountains. Like we didn't even, like it looked like a flying saucer. We were concerned that like something was on, we're like, is something on fire? Cause it was this brown ball. We're like what? Not like brown, but it was like a blazing ball. And we're like, what is that? And then finally we're like, we're like that's, that's the, the moon? moon. But the moon was so big and we were just all like, oh my gosh, like what are we seeing? And then once it, you know, came up a little bit more, we're like, okay, this makes sense. I was pretty impressed. It was, it was a wild time. I will never, that is something I'll never forget. Anyway, so <laughs> I still want, I want a truck is what okay. I'm saying. So cyber truck, whatever the truck is. I forgot I was looking up cyber truck news and then I started looking up food. That's my bad. I told you about Tesla the faces criticism of Elon Musk in bid to bring cyber truck factory to Texas. Huh? Oh, Musk reads Tesla cyber truck pre-order soar. Hmm. There's a lot of There's cyber lot. truck random clickbaity news. So either way, I did pre-order one. I accidentally pre-ordered two. Can you you would believe that? Did I have, you? I have a problem. Well, the good news is it's problem? like what, like a hundred dollars? Yeah, I canceled it. But okay. I sometimes order two of things by accident. Oh. I don't know how it happens. All the time. <laughs> I ordered two all the time. <laughs> Back to these face masks. By oh my accident. gosh, yes, you did. All the time. It's like, oh hey, um, I yeah, I got you this. I'm like, did you get me this or was it an accident? You're like, oops. It was an accident, but you know, I don't even know. What was one? There was one time you bought like eight laundry baskets. Oh, okay. Well, that was because I thought that there was only one in there. And there, it turns out there was several in the box. Did you accidentally get two of those like toy cars one time too? Yeah, there was the, the, the I-8. The I-8, the two I-8. We wanted I-8. to get the dog a, a motorized car. Like, you know. <laughs> but you ordered two of them. I know, well, I so I think what happens is I will go, I will add the thing to my cart. I'll have a second guess. I close the window and then like, okay, yeah, I'm going to get it. And then I go back, add the thing again. And then I hit checkout. 
I'm trying to think what the most ridiculous thing was. Um, no, there was something really dumb. I, feel I remember like one I time you added like 40 movie tickets. You're buying yeah. movie tickets. You're like, why is this so expensive? I go, well, you have 40 in your basket. I was like, we need like four. Like, oh, <gasps> she has hit the microphone very hard. She hit it so hard. Wow. I'm, I'm, tr- I'm in timeout. These sounds are great. They're great. We can do whatever I don't know we what, want. I can't remember what this one does. Oh, oh that's right. Yes. Oh, yes. Wait, what's this one? Oh. I've just hit them all. Now what? Turn them off. Oh, no. Now so, no, they turn themselves off. Okay. Oh, my oh, wow. gosh. I'm so sorry for what you've well, heard. Well, if, you, if you're driving, you're probably very distracted oh. right then. Um, okay, yeah. So we were talking about ordering two of things. The Cybertruck is also bulletproof, supposedly. I Jenna had a smirk. I'm smiling and okay. I'm just smiling. we were gonna take it to the desert and shoot test it. it. I want well, oh I'm, test it. Well, yes, because we need to make sure that I I want to do a thorough test. Okay, I mean it's your car. I don't care what you do with your money. Oh, what else did we want to talk about today? I feel like there was something else. Oh, oh this was also something that Tyler was talking about um, that he mentioned would be interesting for us to chat about about Thanks, Apple. Tyler bringing touchscreen back to the next iPhone because of face masks. Please, can you do that? Please, can we do that? I can miss it. On that? I, I actually do. When I started using the SE, I was like, wow, this is nice. Yeah. It's I, just, it's fast. It's faster. It is fast. I mean, when people are like, oh yeah, face ID. I'm like, okay, cool. Like whatever. It's fine. It's great. But I like touch. I, I, like, touch I like it too. Even I on the really new like Samsung, it. like the in screen, yeah. like I mean, it works. It's I'm great. I'm on board. The in-screen, like what, how much of an inconvenience is that? Like why would that be? Well, and also I almost feel like the the um, the fingerprint is faster because I feel like that slight swipe up is actually, it takes more time than if you I, just like pick up your phone yeah. and you just, you would just pick it up and touch where you need to be and it I just turns wish, on. I kind of wish like, okay, like what is it though? What is it that has the one in the back? The pixel is my the favorite. Pixel, yeah. It's a perfect location for your pointer finger. Or like what if you could do, I don't really know. What There's don't you know? It's just something else. I feel like there has to be something else that someone like has. Iris scanners? Of. No, because that's still kind of like face ID type of thing. Yeah. These glasses are really hurting my ears. I think the headphones are also hurting my ears. Everything is hurting my, my I'm head. I'm gonna take my headphones off. Should I take Me my too. headphones off? Okay, yeah, let's take a break. I'm in Ow. A lot of pain. I mean, I actually have to actively take off my <sighs> contacts, I take have, them out so that I can put these glasses on. Like, like what are we the doing? The headphones were jamming into my it's okay. This is still, we're, we're still, oh gosh, that feels nice. Oh, my glasses wow, are like, off. Like, wow, wow, it's like when you, comfy. When you come home and you take your face mask off after a long day outside in the real world. Or like when you used to wear jeans and you would Ew, take gross. off your, I know, but you would take your jeans off and put your jammies on. I looked at my jeans the other day and audibly scoffed. I went, ugh. That was two scoffs. I scoffed as well. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, what else can we talk about? I'm well, just, I'm going to check my email, see if there's a, no, not know, logged in. Justine, I'm excited to test out Big Sur. Have you heard that iOS 14 wallpaper looks like a butt? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you turn it sideways, it might, it might look maybe look a little. I bit. like, I wanted to talk about. You like butts and you uh, will not lie? Y- sure. No one can deny. I have been sitting on mine a lot. Not going to lie about that. Me too. What is your favorite iOS 14 feature that's new? Have you tried tap back? Yes. Okay. I have two, uh, two taps, home, three taps, spotlight. I forget what I set them as. Cool, I, you must really like it. <laughs> have you tried, okay, I think it's, I don't think it's new. Um, it's the, the magnify. That's not new. It's yeah. not new, but I have triple click. So if you triple click, oh, I'll just turn my phone off. That's my old phone. That's not I don't have, your, that's not your uh, phone. Triple click, it opens up magnify. It's super helpful. We should tell our parents about it. Yeah, we should actually. They would. They would probably like that. Because they're always like, you know, like you know, when you're in restaurants, and now that we're old, we kind of do it too. You put your flashlight mm-hmm. on. It's super helpful. But uh, another feature is the accessibility. Yeah, we were just talking about this because there was a fire alarm going off when we just started recording this, and then uh, we we're talking about the accessibility of sound recognition. It's pretty cool. I turned it on for Maddie, our dog, and um, I was like, I know he's gonna bark because like, I was expecting a delivery, and I heard his little little yap and beak. It's like. And, and it, so I went up there and I had, I was recording my phone with my other phone. And it's like your sound recognized, oh a dog God. bark. Do you think you would recognize my bark? Where's your phone? I don't know. Well, you don't know where your phone Where's is? Your phone? Where's your phone? Wait, should I find my phone? Okay, let me find we the phone. Do, we don't have to do this for a podcast. No, we do. We're doing this for the podcast. You guys but don't go anywhere. They can't don't see me. Don't go anywhere. Don't where you? are you going? I gotta find my phone. Your phone, where's your phone? Talk to them. 
Oh my gosh. It, well, why don't I get it? Downstairs, downstairs. Oh, I have to go downstairs. Downstairs on my nightstand. Okay, she's not going downstairs. Would the, okay, so my sister, Justine, um, has it. Okay, they can hear you because you're still talking. Yeah, but they might not uh, be able to hear me. She can bark like a dog, and it's very, very alarming, confusing. And with the new iOS accessibility feature, you can turn on alerts for dog sound, water. I tried the water; Ooh. it worked. Um, smoke alarm, fire alarm, a doorbell, a knock. So it's really cool. It's a really, really, really cool and practical feature, actually. Uh, so Justine's going to see if... Where is it at? So it's an Here accessibility it sound recognition. Turn it on. Sounds. Okay, so now I'm turning on dog. dog. Okay, so okay, do I just like set, on my, I set my phone down? Okay. Just by so set it down. Yeah. Do I, just, set, I just set it down. Just set, you're just set, okay, I'm getting nervous, though, because... You need to get well, nervous. Do you think it'll pop up if I have my phone on like this? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to get too close to the mic. I'm nervous. All right, she's nervous. I haven't done this in a while. Well... Okay, ready? <laughs> Takes a second. It does. You think it? Oh, it worked! A dog sound has been recognized. That may be a dog. Me? Would that mean I'm the B word? Did you get it? It was yeah. a joke. Oh, right, okay. it's not funny, oh. is it? Okay. Oh ah! my! Look, goodness, this is incredible. So, I am. I'm it a, also do it for like there's a baby crying. Mm. Do you want to try to be a baby? Okay. Wah. We need Bryn, our sister's baby. Man, that that child cried like Whoa. something I've never heard in my Those life. Those are some serious, okay. some Ready? serious cries. Okay, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna cry. Did you turn it on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let it be known, I do not like. I don't that. like it either. I do not like it. Oh my god, is it not a baby crying? It's because I'm an adult crying. <laughs> I hit the button. Which button did you? Uh, the the drums that okay, open. Here we go. We're gonna do a door knock. Okay. Oh my god, they're shouting. Let's turn on shouting. Absolutely not. You know okay. how frequently that would be going off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Door knock. Ready? That is like. That's. You're just knocking. That's a door knock. What do you think? It, who knocks that loud? Everybody knocks that loud. When you knock on a door, how loud do you knock? I literally don't go anywhere now. And I don't, there's doorbells. You're right. Okay, well, the dog one worked. Crying baby, knocking. This is still beta. It's beta. This is still beta. We we don't know, but. um, Okay. I mean, this isn't something that I would be like. Well, this is mostly for, I think it would be great for like the deaf community. No, no, for sure. Like any, like hearing impairment, like, but I'm saying is I wonder if there's any precautions that they already have. Like this would be a really good backup. What would you want to potentially risk your life depending on yeah this no i mean i feel like like a smoke alarm fire alarm like i mean a lot of those have um you know like lights yeah or true like different types of indications but this is great i love I, what yeah. apple has been doing as it's far really as good. accessibility goes and i feel like they have a lot of really great collaborators as well so mm-hmm. it's like when people recognize something that needs to be fixed or there's an issue like they are on so the like, how do we do it? Which brings me to the translate. Have you tried the translate? No, did you? Yes, I did. Justine, you have to watch my latest video. <sighs> I asked, where is the bathroom? And they said, don't need a style baño. And I was like, well, I knew that one. But what's really cool about the translate app is um, you can click on words. So say you're like, okay, where is the bathroom? And they tell you in Spanish, you can click on baño and it'll tell you, it'll bring up like basically like the definition of it and like mm-hmm. how you use it and the verbs and the tense and it's just, it's a really, really cool feature. And they have, what, 11 languages right now, which I'm sure they'll be updating. Justina's, Jenna has to go. How do I make it play it? I, I want you guys to hear what, oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh go, no, now it's, it's doing, it's to listening to us. Okay, so I have the English translation is Jenna has to go potty. The German is Jenna muss in top, oh, sh- Temperature. Why would you do German? You I don't know. know. That's a tough but I one. like German. I love it too. It's just very hard. I don't know. Very what. hard language to speak. Well, so is English. Okay, like English is such a silly language. Think about it. You spell. I just spit everywhere because I'm so upset. Like live, life, and live, live, li- like no. It's just there's so many different words. It's true. That are like the same. How do I get this to read? I don't know. Did it read for you? Well, hold it in and say, okay. Jenna has to go potty. Jenna has to go potty. 
Jena muss ein Töpfchen gehen. Okay, that was went. instant. Jenna has to go potty. Jena muss ein Töpfchen gehen. Where is oh. the bathroom? Where is the bathroom because Jenna has to potty? Has the body, oops. <laughs> Jenna has the body. <laughs> Jenna has well, the body. Well, now they are alerting the authorities. Why is it not playing? I don't know, Jess. Oh my gosh, it saves all of these. Oh boy. Well, it's still in beta. Oh, this is incredible. Oh boy. Jenna has to potty, so where is the potty? It doesn't know potty. Does yeah. it not know potty? It's not really. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, bathroom. Yeah, okay. Jenna has to go to the bathroom. Where is the bathroom? You said it laughing. I'm sorry. This You're is giving a very bad demonstration. <laughs> it's a bad demonstration, but Translate is pretty great. It is still in beta, and it's really cool, though, because it is offline, so it will be an offline thing, so these conversations aren't stored in the cloud. That's all I've got to say about that. And, like, if you are traveling and you don't have service or data, you can, I'm assuming it's probably already downloaded, much like Google Translate I uh, will did. never forget. <sighs> Do you remember, actually, yeah. speaking of Ford, when we went to... Yeah. We what went to Madrid. We went to Madrid for, for this Ford event. We raced cars. That's where we met Justin Bell. Do you and, remember uh, that I beat all of the records except for the one that was uh, eco-friendly? Braggy. Yeah, Jenna was like a race car driver. She was like cruising <laughs> around. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they're like, you did a great job, except you were you did not save the environment. And I was like, oh, shoot. Shoot. Do was you remember Ford when you were- Focus? Was it Ford Focus? Focus? Ford Focus something. Or I, it was Ford Focus. I, I think so. Uh, my favorite thing is when it was parallel parking and you were driving. You're like, did you know you had to hit the brake? And I'm like, nobody told me. Like, well, it was supposed to park itself, which it did, but you, you had have to, to hit, the, hit break. the brake. I was like, hit the brake, hit the brake, hit the brake. I'm like, you're like, why would I hit the brake? It's parking itself. I'm nobody. Like, well, technically, it's parking itself, but you got to hit the brake. Nobody told me. Um, well, anyway, that's something. Wow. <sighs> Can you believe I'm going to get a haircut? So I, during quarantine, when it first happened, I started filming a vlog. Day one, day two, day three. I mean, I probably made it to day 50. And then I go, I'm going to stop acting like this is something that's this weird. Is the new norm. Because this is the new normal and I just stopped. You would have like, had a hundred and like 10 day vlog by now. Let me see how many it's days. It's been over a hundred days. How many days has it been since March 20th? It was 98 days ago. I started March 11th. Well, yeah, but I mean, when it technically closed. Technically? Because I started, I think, it was like the day before my birthday. So, okay. yeah, I probably stopped around day 50. So and then I never posted the video. So it's 100 for you tomorrow. Yeah, to, for you today. For, yes. <laughs> I was like, for me today? Yeah, it's it's very, very interesting. I mean, here's the thing. Like, we're still in the first wave and things are, are. not getting better. I mean, Los Angeles has the, what, the most Well, I think number. Florida today surpassed them. Yeah. So it's just getting worse and worse, but. Um, I just think people need to take just extra precautions. You know, I mean, if you don't have to go somewhere, don't wear your mask, wash your hands. The last podcast we were talking about how doctors wash their hands and Jenna told have me Have you to look. watched the video or the TikToks? Well, I didn't know which ones you were watching, but I watched one where this guy basically, like, it was just wild. Well, there was the one, it was like a demonstration. So it was like, um, not like a lotion, but like a clay mm -hmm. and like showing how you wash it. And like, if you don't wash certain places, then it wouldn't be covered. So just showing like how they wash it so that it covers like every part of your hand and like your wrist and like really gets everything. I want to talk about phone soap. Okay, because I have been using phone my soap. phone soap. So phone soap is basically like, it's UV. funny when you say phone soap with people like, you yeah, that was like a soap for your phone. But it's like a little container, you know, you can fold it open and it's full with like UV and you put your phone in there, you close it and what, like 10, 15 minutes, it'll mm -hmm. sterilize your phone. I've been putting my iPhone, my iPhone, I've been putting my Apple Watch, I'm putting my keys in there. Did you see they even have the big iPad version that was yes. like a pre-order? Um, <gasps> they also have, our parents said that they got these like wands which you can use mm -hmm. on top of things. So it's uh, it's very, very interesting, except everything now is basically sold out. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God. What is that? So they also have the regular, <gasps> that ships before July 16th. They have them oh, now, man. but they have the wireless charging, so you can be phone soaping and charging. I do not have that version. What is this? Would... Air soap? Air soap? Oh can my, I put my God. body in it? I don't know. It's 390. It's an air purifier. Air, uh, air purifier. Guess what I just ordered. Another air purifier? Did you get a Dyson? I got the Dyson one. Did you get the one I have? I don't know. I don't Why know. Why didn't you ask? It was like I was falling asleep, and I was like, I need an air purifier. Why so didn't I was you half ask asleep. Me? 
And I ordered, let me see which one I ordered to see if it's the same one. I was helping our friend Sean pick out a Dyson fan for like three weeks. So he I would text me like, what do you think about this one? And there's so many different Dysons. And I'm like, ah, I'm like, well, okay, this one has this, this one has this. But now they actually came out with a new one, which is also a humidifier. Okay, I think that's what I bought. Oh, now I'm jealous. I think this is it, this one right here. Um, is this it? Purifying, uh, no, no. wait, no, because hold on a second. Which one do you have? So I have the Dyson Pure Hot and Cool Cryptomic. Oh, wow. I, Atomic. I was honestly half asleep. Like I woke up from like a slumber and I was like, and I I just for some reason had this urge to order a Dyson well, air purifier. There's definitely one that now is new and has a humidifier as well. So I'm like, I think that's jealous. what I got. I think that might be they're, they're pretty expensive. It but is expensive. I mean, it's an investment. What's really cool is that I can actually, well, let me show you my app. I can pull up the Dyson app. And it will tell me what type of um, like particles it is collecting. Like right now it's saying that it is good air quality. It'll tell me like the PM10, the PM2.5. What does um, that mean? It's just like the particle size oh. or like the VOC, NO2. Oh, that NO2 is high, it's spiked. Why? Is that because I came in? The temperature got hot probably because you were here. <laughs> Look at me, <laughs> the spicy. humidity. It's really cool. What's funny is watching the air quality change. So I'll open the door sometimes. I have it downstairs in my office in my, like my room. Mm -hmm. And if I open the door, there'll be a huge spike because it's taking in like all of like the pollution and pollen from the outside world. And the one day I was very concerned because it was a very, very serious spike. And I was really? like, what happened? And I left my door open for a long time. Oh, okay, here it is. Look, Dyson Pure Humidify and Cool. That has to be the new one. It's got to be. Humidify and cool. Does it have heat as well? I don't know, but I really wanted this for like the gym area because I feel like- You don't need heat. Well, no, but I really like the cool factor. Hold on, we have a pause. What's wrong? Oh, oh 10, 10 minutes. What, what does that mean? To an hour. Oh my God, I was worried. I'm like, what happens in 10 minutes? <laughs> the world implodes. Oh, uh, look okay. at this. I ordered this last night and it is already on its way. Like I'm going to have this tomorrow. Do you want to come over and see it? Uh, kind of, yeah, because I really want, oh man, I'm so jealous. Dude, I didn't even I know. Get one, but I didn't even know it was new, but I thought this was the one that you had. It's really, really neat. It has cooling humidifier. I know, I was looking, I got an email and I'm like, but I you just bought email? this one a couple months ago and like, I don't want to spend another eight, $900. So I had been using, I don't even remember what it was called. Remember? Molecule. The Molecule. So I kept getting ads for this on Instagram, like just- Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. they were targeting you. Which is so, funny because now I get them from Molecule. So I ordered originally the larger Molecule one, which is great because it looks really nice. It does. So it's like this big kind of cylinder. It has like a really cool little like handle, like a leather handle. I don't think it's real leather, it but the handle was what So me. can you track, like does it have an app? Like can you see what it's, what's happening? You can. And there's also the Molecule Air Mini, which I have oh, in my bedroom, which is really nice. Like it's really small and it's like a nice little nightstand thing. Oh. It. So I just feel like there's just so much pollution. There's and, a lot, especially like we live in LA. Like yeah. just the pollution and the, I have really bad allergies. So I got mine too, like for allergies. So I basically just have it like full blast at night, just like blowing on my face. It's, you know, I still wake up, my eyes are kind of swollen. Yeah. But I, think, I feel, I feel like it's doing something. I think the dog just needs a bath, like a yes. real good. He needs a he's scrub. He's so bad right now, but I'm excited to try out this new Dyson one. I mean, I've, the one that we got our parents, which one was that same one? one? The that same one that I have, have. yeah. Cause so. our mom gets cold. Yeah, and it has think, the heat. I don't think this one has heat, but it has the cooling, which is why I thought it'd be great for sort of like my upstairs gym area. So yeah, can, you don't need the heat. No. Yeah. I so, wanted the heat because my office gets really cold mm -hmm. and that means I get really cold. So I just have the heat like blasting on me. So far I've only used it twice for the heat. The cool is nice too. Well, these molecules are also expensive. Do they have heat or cool? Or no, is it just a purifier? Just a purifier. Whoa. So this one is, the molecule air is 800. <gasps> the mini is 499 as well. So it's expensive. That is expensive. Cool, but they also have a nice little subscription thing too. So you don't have to worry about like whenever filters. your filters will be needing changed. They just will set up. It looks so good. I think the Dyson, there's like a, a an alert or like a light or something it'll tell you. And like what it has an app. It? Look at this. There's an Air Pro RX for medical use. This is how she gets tricked into buying oh, things. Oh boy. Well, originally I think we shot a video about this and then- Oh yeah. We, I don't think a I ever purchased it. A things kept going wrong. Did we? Did we ever edit that, Tyler? Do you know the- The Molecule? No. Tyler, yeah. did we ever edit that one, the Molecule? Do you remember that? Remember we shot that 
the filter, the air filter video like a year ago. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. There's so many videos that we forgot about because we needed to film the second half of it. There was something because I wanted to do a follow up. Yeah, I don't, you never did that. I, never I did remember it. something kept going wrong when we were unboxing it. No, oh, you unboxed, I unboxed it. it. So I was That's what went wrong with it. I was going to do an unboxing, and Jenna's like, oh, I, I like she was being nice. To and be fair, all I did was take it out of a cardboard box. I didn't actually open it. No, she didn't. But she was trying to be nice and like clean up, and, and she unboxed it. I was like, I, was, unbo- I took it out of another box. So, like, I didn't. I don't actually remember. I don't remember either. I think I'm pretty might, sure I, I just took it out of the box. You took it out. Not you like unboxed. I didn't take she, it out of like the. Like the, the shipping box. Here's the I thing. took it out of that. They don't care. They don't care. I, you or brought do they it care? up. I, they do. But now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, they don't care. What do you guys think about air filters? I We've like them. We've been talking about for a long time. I'm just looking at the bike that is in your living room right now. So during quarantine, I realized that I'd never ridden a real bike before. Wait, what? Like, no. What? Well, I mean, we got these specialized electric bikes, but it's like, a real bike first. And Jenna is now getting the dog. She is scooping him up. Oh, he looks beautiful. Hi, buddy. If you guys can't see, there is now a 15 pound white poodle snoop. He's a poodle Bajan Chihuahua. He smells smells like pee. Do you want to sing that song? He has a song. Poodle Bajan Chihuahua Lassa (laughs) Abso. We're what trying about dogs. We're trying to um, we were trying to get to an hour. I think did we do it yet? Honestly, we have a he's so I don't hot. have anything else to talk about, I don't think. And don't I'm starting either. to sweat. Yeah. Do we end this now? We can talk about nothing. We can save it all for next week's episode of Same, Same Brain. Brain. What kind of new equipment do you think we'll have by next week? See, here's uh, the problem. Is what? Oh. What's wrong? What's this new I I don't know. I have so many plans for this podcast, but like, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Well, Justine, we're just, we're going to work through some things and we're going to figure it out, but there's always new things to talk about. There is new things to talk about. I mean, we're, we've talked about like, we talked about air quality. I mean, I basically just been drinking my yerba all day. Um, I drank mine before the, before the show started and I had to put water in it. It's a really great story. Um, Oh, you just, Spilled all over me, you hog. There seems to be something wrong with my mouth or my straw. <laughs> well, if you guys want to leave us any suggestions for some things that you would like to hear us talk about next week, or if you have any other feedback, all of the negative feedback, you can tweet it to us on Twitter so you can let us know, but you only leave positive feedback. <laughs> no. You, yeah. I keep actually, wanting to call it the iTunes store. I hit the microphone again. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. We had to take our headphones off because they hurt. Yeah, they hurt. So I don't know. What's but happening. I'm excited. But thank you guys. Yeah, we appreciate I, all the feedback. I do have a lot of a lot of gadgets and lots of podcasting gear that I've been looking at, like trying to figure out a cool room to turn Ooh, into shopping. the podcast. Like my old unboxing studio. I think we're gonna turn that into podcasting room. Okay. okay. I mean, well, right now we're sitting in my kitchen. We so, are. You know. Well, yesterday we were sitting. Was that yesterday? Oh my god. It's hard when to was tell. that? A couple days ago. I'm not even sure. Um, anyway, sweating. we're we're this is a work in progress, and thank you guys for uh, joining us on this journey. I think this is some good motivation for a lot of people who just want to start doing something. You just, just have do it. to do it. So where's our merch? Uh, I am <gasps> working on a, I'm working on the mugs. Same brain mugs coming to you whenever yeah, we do it. Well, I have this logo that I found, but it's just like a piece of clip art. But it's so incredible that. I love it so much. It's pretty great. All right, guys. Well, let us know what you want for next week. We are welcoming all of the lovely reviews. We will be reading them each episode. It'll be fun. Uh, Yeah. Tweet us, Justine. uh, You're I, Justine. I'm Jenna E. Zarek. And you can check us out on Discord. I'm going to make a podcast section there so you guys can discuss all things podcasts or any other news things that you guys would like to see. I love Discord. It's pretty great. It's It's funny because like I half the time I'm just on there like reading what people are talking about and just creeping. I'm lurking. It's fun. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be uh, it for episode four of Same Brain. We will see episode you again four. Oh my next God, episode week. Episode five next week, next Saturday. Bye. Bye. Bye.